Hello everyone, I'm Evan, and I'm here today to uh, do something I haven't been doing for a couple weeks, which is making a YouTube video. So, I just gotta say, this is awesome. And you might be asking, why the heck is this piece of wood awesome? Well, it's not this piece of wood, it's what it's part of. This is a enormous... It's a floating fortress. It's, uh, you know, made in a sort of medieval-y... Was it? Is it medieval? I don't know. It has, I think, 29... Yeah, I think that's 29 uh, guns per side, as well as two mortars in the front, and it's just huge. But, let's not get to the guns and the mortars and whatever first. Let's just look at the rigging! Yay! Let's go top down. Um, so, you know, you got ropes and stuff and sails, of course. And you've got little ladders that go from the deck all the way up here. And you got on these platforms here. There's one on there. Uh, mast 2. So there's one on each of the main masts. And then from there, from the, the larger of the two main masts, you can get up this little tiny precarious crow's nest, which you might want to be shifting so you don't fall off the whole time you're up here. Anyway, uh, so over here is, um, you know, just another little thing. There's a little piece of wood that goes between the masts. Not sure why, but you can use it to get over to this mast. So you have to climb up the main main mast, which is over here. You go on that platform, you go up there, you go across to that one. Uh, of course, if you're clever, you can jump around and do some parkour, and you can get to the other masts too. But it it doesn't. It just I don't. It's not worth the trouble. Um, there's I'm not sure why I did this, but there's like this massive beam that just sort of goes like that uh, from the second main mast to the uh, forward mast, right there. And, um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure why I did that. Because it looks neat, I don't know. Um, so, let's just go down one section, I guess. And that's the bridge here, since it's above the deck. Um, but really, the bridge is only here to uh, activate things on the deck. So. I'm going to fire off one of the mortars. And there it is. It fires off TNT. It goes explodes right over the water. Perfectly. Um, it took a while to get the timing right, so it doesn't explode when it's in the water or before the water. Uh, yep. Yeah. And it works for the other side, too. Blowing up that little ship over there. Um... Yeah, so that's the mortars, and there that redstone just goes all the way across the deck. And I had to make it so it doesn't interfere with the broadside redstone, which is this stuff. So you press this button, and it just sends out 29 fire charges. Which is pretty cool. Um, yeah. A lot of them. But, uh, anyway. Yeah, we'll go down to this main deck here. And there's this captain's cabin. I haven't actually put anything in there yet. Uh, so, let's just go down. And here we see this is another cannon deck. So, you see this? This redstone comes from the cannons up there. It goes on the same circuit. So, as soon as the redstone gets to here, the second... Uh, layer starts of that side that you selected. So all these cannons start firing to all the way up to here. Um, in addition, up on the surface there are these levers here, and on the second deck there are two, and they are just for dropping cargo to the hold, which I will now uh, show to you guys now. In the deck, which I will now show to you guys. Yeah, so this is probably what took me the longest on this ship. 
maybe besides the rigging. The rigging took a long time as well. But, like, the shape of the hull took me forever to get right. I had to blow it up, rebuild it, blow it up again, rebuild it again. This is, while it's full of water, so destroying it was really hard. I couldn't actually just blow it up, but I, you know... I say blow it up, but it's more like punched it apart piece by piece. But it took so long. But once this was done, it was sort of just like building on top. Uh, so yeah. Just lots of space in here. I haven't filled it with cargo and stuff yet, but right here is the powder uh, keg storage. The the, you know, powder storage. Yeah, you don't want a cannon ball coming in here. Which is why it's surrounded by blocks of iron. Um, and if you're wondering why everything looks strange like that, it's because I have a cool texture pack that I made. Um, and that's, I made it for this. Because I've been playing a lot of Assassin's Creed Black Flag, which is why I decided to make this ship at all. Because... Black Flag is all about pirate ships and the high seas and stuff, so I just decided, heck, I'm gonna make it, and it's gonna be awesome. So I'm gonna review the texture pack in another episode, um, and I guess that's all for now, guys. So, thank you for watching, and, um, I'll see you next time.